Hi, welcome to another reflection. Today I'd like to read you a reflection that I've written on Matthew chapter 20 verses 1 to 16. It's a parable that Jesus told his disciples about a vineyard owner who goes out early in the morning to employ workers in the marketplace who are looking for work. He offers them a denarius for the day and he sends them to work. Then again at 9am, noon, 3pm, he goes back to the market and offers work to the men who are still there, offering to pay them whatever is right. At 5pm he did the same again. At the end of the day the owner of the vineyard told his foreman to pay the wages, starting with the last ones hired and ending with the earliest hired hands. Each man was paid a denarius. And the men hired first grumbled and complained that the owner had made the last to be employed equal with those who had worked all day. Now there's a lot to unpack in this stark story, far more than we can do in this reflection, but I'd like to look at this man, this vineyard owner's demonstration of justice. What is justice for an unemployed man willing to stand in a marketplace all day long, perhaps enduring the humiliating glances of those who pass. In this man's eye, it seems, to show justice it is to give all those who want to work the thing they want most, a job. The opportunity to earn the money that they need to feed their families. He gives them their self-worth. Those who, were justly, who, those who were justly paid the agreed wage for the day were upset that those who had done only a part of a day's work were made equal to them. To their minds, their worth was directly related to how much they were paid. They complained to the owner about the injustice of this. And a really good friend of mine wrote a thing on this once and I'm going to quote now what she imagined that the vineyard owner might have replied. She thought that the vineyard owner might have stood before the assembled men who were complaining and say, you have no complaint. Justice has been served. I've given you what I agreed to pay you. You're free to do with what you like with what is yours and I am free to do what I like with what is mine. I choose to pay these men a living wage. You'll be able to go home to your wives and children and proudly announce that you found work and that you got a full day's pay. And I want these other men who waited all day in the marketplace to be able to walk in the doors of their houses with the same joy in their hearts and the same money in their pockets. I want their wives and children to be as proud of them as yours are of you. So you worked through the heat of the day, did you? During the heat of the day, I was out on the road to and fro from the market, trying to demonstrate compassion to others who, like you, are in need of employment. I could have sent my manager to do this, but I didn't. I went myself to demonstrate solidarity with these men and to help to alleviate their suffering. Why are you jealous of them and angry with me? You must understand that I am not only just, I am merciful and compassionate because mercy and compassion are a part of justice. You see, the owner's compassion leads him to go to the hurting himself and to show his deep concern as he demonstrates costly love to the poor. We don't hear the reply of the workers, but I believe that Jesus gives us a challenge. 
Each one of us needs to find ourselves in the story and honestly work out what our response would be. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like this. And then he tells this story. The kingdom of heaven is where costly grace is offered to those who need it. And this parable isn't just about what happens when we die. It's about now, about knowing God's costly grace, his grace for each one of us now. Do we know that grace? And are we ready and willing to bring that grace to others? I pray that each of us would have an opportunity to reflect on our gracious God who loves us and cares for us with great justice and compassion and look for ways that we too can demonstrate that justice which brings shalom to people.